Alright, this is Brew 30. Welcome to Brew 30 with the Brew Crew, also known as the Drought State Drinkers here in California, also known as the Brewsters. Brewsters. Um, today we have a very we, today we have a very special treat. Uh, what you see here is from Needy Brewing up in Auburn, California. It is the Hop Deranged, but this is a very special Hop Deranged. It's been aged for seven months in uh, Jack Daniels whiskey barrels. So I saw this today on Instagram, and uh, yeah, I, I got giddy. I got giddy with excitement, like a little schoolgirl about yeah. to start. start I remember school. seeing your text. Yeah. So I sent a message to my wife. I tagged my wife on the Instagram post of theirs, Knee Deep Brewing Co. And um, their, their post says, guess what? Knee Deep second barrel age series is now released. Info, hop deranged, aged for seven months in Jack Daniels barrels. $20 a bottle, limit four per customer. So only in the tap room while supplies last. We have one six keg in the tap room that will be poured only for samples if interested in bottles. Come on in and get them. Fair warning, will sell fast. Hashtag Knee Deep Brewing Co. Hashtag Auburn. And whatever, a bunch of tags. So what this is, this is a quad IPA, but like I said, aged for seven months, Jack Daniels. Very excited. We already, I mean, you've tried the, you've tried the regular hot yes. range. Yeah, I really actually um, like it. So. Yeah, I do too. It's, it's a very light in color as far as, you know, a quad IPA. But powerful. Very powerful. I'm actually, you should uh, fill time because I'm not prepared. Okay. I'm going to look up what the regular hop deranged is. Well, this one, to compare with one that he's about to get, is 12.81% alcohol by volume. And... I'm looking forward to trying it, especially something that's been aged in Jack Daniels barrels. So, we'll see how it tastes, right? Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. The original hop to range is a 13.1. That's what I was kind of thinking, but I didn't want to so say it. Like it sounds point stupid if I was three, totally off. Point three. Yeah, this one's actually lower, but um, I'm not, maybe, I don't know. That, that, that's weird. I mean, it's close. 12.81, that's a 13%. Yeah. The other one was a 13.1. Yeah, that's like the same. Yeah. All right, let's pour it. All right. So, um, we're going to be drinking things. these out of our clear plastic solo cups because it's brew 30 and we're in a garage. Yeah. So, so you know. I D A F. Sure. You don't need ID. Or no. What is it? I don't know these abbreviations. We don't need ID. No. Oh yeah, we don't need ID. Oh, that's good. Alright. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Trying to make a joke. You ruined it. Dude, it smells kind of like Jack D. A little bit. It's got like the maltiness. There it smells. found my new favorite dude. beer ever. Dude, but it, that's dude. what I'm saying. This is a limited release. Like, we can go back to Auburn and get some, but it's $20 for a pint. This is a pint, right? It's a bottle, but it's a pint, right? Yeah, one pint, six, a pint and six dude, ounces. Dude, this is freaking it's, ridiculous. It is really, really good. This is, this doesn't taste like the same beer. This is not Hop Deranged at all, no. by any means. Hop to range, the original Hop to range is totally it's so different flavor. close to tasting like Jack. It's, it's like a like, Jack Daniels beer. It's a Jack Daniels beer, yeah. It's, it's like honey, dude. Dude, oh. dude, this is like sweet to me. Dude, it's freaking good. <laughs> it's it's like candy, candy. dude. I am really impressed. This does not taste anything. I honestly like. wasn't sure what to say no. or what to think. I mean, no, I, I, you can you might be able to see our bottles here, um, but the uh, the hop deranged is up there as well as the hoptologist the double. I like that their little hop dude. Dude, and I the, could drink this for days. This is this? delicious. I could drink this like a friggin' fish drinks water. Oh my god! If I was gonna be an alcoholic, this is what I'd be an alcoholic off of. You would be broke really quick. Yeah. Yeah, wow. that, just for comparison, this one bottle, since it's a very limited release, it was $20, at uh, Whole Foods, I was able to find, that's the really one of the only places I was able to find recently, is the original Hop Deranged, and that one was $13. God, dude. So this one, yeah, I mean, this, 
This is my. This is great. I mean, my favorite beer. Just I, sucks that it's limited edition. Well, they're gonna try. It's like it's more like a wine, like how wineries will do. Like, oh, this is our this year's wine, and it's gonna. We're hoping it's gonna be good, and then you really, and they're like, oh my god, this is so good. And then the next year they try to do it, and it's not as good. And you're like, oh man, but that wasn't as good yeah, as twenty twelve. I'm, I'm pretty you know? sure I've never had a beer that tastes this good. Like, I'm trying to savor it, dude. I like. I want to drink more, but I really just twenty dollars so compared to Pliny. Oh, I've never dude. had Pliny. No, no, no. Well, Pl well, I've never had Pliny the Elder. Lot. I've never had Pliny the Younger. I've only had Pliny the Elder. But no, this isn't like compared to Pliny the Elder. Hoptologist by Needy Brewing is Needy. That that one is my favorite. This is my favorite brewery of all time, and that's why I follow him on Instagram. And I got so excited when I saw that post because last time when we went there, um, I heard. I remember they, you yeah, asking about yeah, it. Yeah, I heard that they were like working on it, but they were like, "Oh, the FDA, it's done." But the FDA or somebody, I don't know, won't let us bottle it yet because whatever they have. They have to go crash. through so much. So finally tape. today, it was done, and I was giddy. I was like, I was got on the phone. I tagged my wife. I sent her an email or a text with the picture, and then I called her. She didn't answer. She called me back. She's like, what? what? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I was like, knee deep brewing. Right now, you have to go. God, dude. Friggin' the beer that I've been waiting for for two and a half months. And it's so smooth. It is. I mean, there's no, there's no after. It's not like it's super bitter. It, no, it's a quad it's IPA. Bitter. That's the thing. It's a quad IPA with brewed and or aged in Jack Daniels barrels. So it's brewed and then into there and aged. To me, like an IPA has always form. been the most bitter. And it absorbs so much flavor. I can't. It, it yeah. absorb. It tastes like honey. Heck of flavor. It's like whiskey honey. It's like the whiskey honey. The honey. <laughs> the Tennessee <laughs> yeah. honey. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. it tastes like. It, I never had Tennessee honey, but I've had this, and it's. Mm. I'm just good. trying to sip it, dude. I. I know, and I'm trying to, but clearly, as you can see, I'm not succeeding because I just can't get enough. That's a Michael Jackson song. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah, no, no. Um, dude, that uh, was delicious. I mean, you can. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna show you the color, maybe just so you can you can see it a little bit better, cause uh, we don't have a cameraman. But here, let me move my hand. There you go. So yeah, it's very golden. It's almost an amber, really. It's it's really nice. It's freaking good. As you can see, the condensation on there. We had the bottle in the fridge, but IPAs, you don't drink out of a frosted glass. Only amateurs drink IPAs out of a frosted glass. Holy we don't do that. We don't do that on Route 30. Um, what's this little label say? Perfect. Barrel Age Series. Perfect to share. That's what we're doing. We're sharing it. So. Sharing it with the fruit crew. Cheers to you. Cheers, Cheers to you. the Brew Crew out there on YouTube land. Follow us, or subscribe. subscribe, whatever. Subscribe and like the video, and we'll see you guys next time. You can follow us on Instagram eventually. Eventually. Let's just, let's, yeah. Brew 30 Crew, at Brew 30 Crew on Insta. Yep. We'll see you there. I'm glad that didn't knock over. I Dude. didn't think about that. that Dude, would I would have, I would have grabbed it <laughs> as if it was my firstborn <laughs> child falling off a cliff. Over. No! That's that's like twelve bucks right there. Dude, I didn't know it was twenty bucks a bottle. For a bottle, dude. But that is worth it. that. Yes, dude. Like that. They didn't make. They made one batch.